they make a decision. That's what she told us. And I mean, you go right. back and look in the minutes. Yeah, She's hoping I, you all make a decision. And I don't, I don't dispute that. Uh, I've, I've reviewed the, the issue. But I, what I'm trying to talk about is the sequential thing. I'll get, I'm going now. I'm now down to issue number three. Um, one concern that I have was one, you, you presented two options that you felt that the board could go. I have concerns about the removal of units from the Art Center, and I was here in 05, I remember <coughs> that discussion clearly, and felt that we absolutely needed to take a look at the Art Center. Something needs to be done. I'm not clear, and there was quite a bit of discussion on that particular day about what might happen with respect to the Art Center units. So my concern is that in one action, uh, that we would remove from the art center units that are clearly assigned to them and simultaneously grant a disbursement of the units to you and applicant. I just have a concern about that procedure. So I, I just think we're getting a little bit of ahead of ourselves. I think that we are almost ready to look at that data and I wish that you had waited till it had come back to the board so you'd say, hey board, You've got the data. You've got the final thing. Staff is telling you there's no more to really to do. The town met. Here's where here, the town, the planning staff would probably bring us an option or two or three about what to do with the tables. And I think that we absolutely need to engage in that conversation. So um, one thing, though, that you, you didn't address and you didn't um, – that I think you left hanging, and that is that let's just say for the, for the sake of uh, the discussion here, if the board felt it needed to keep with the current tables, uh, one of your scenarios on the slide, um, and, and yet could see that these additional units vis-a-vis -vis the Arts Center were available, you didn't offer anything in your discussion about why you should be the recipient of those units. Right, why so should we as the decision make makers clear. say, especially right here today, Oh, sure, and you're the ones. Right, so I think I did actually try to address that uh, in the typical objection slide. And, and I think it's really very clear. It's the, in the plan, there's a specific process that is called out for, for obtaining changes to that table. It's the general plan amendment and the ordinance uh, plan uh, amendment process that we find ourselves in today. And, um, you know, that, that's, that's the process that's outlined, right? And if you guys take action on that and those rooms haven't been used and were allocated, um, you know, in, uh, in a fashion that uh, for 16 years they haven't been used, I mean, th this is your role as a, as, a, as a leader of this county to make that decision, right? And you have the authority to do it ultimately. And uh, I guess that's what we're, and I'm not saying that's the right approach. I think there's actually, uh, you know, the other option might be the preferred route to go. Um, based on balance but you know back dating back to ray hall ray hall always uh you know when i would talk to him about this and we had many conversations you know he was saying hey the easiest cleanest way to do this is to uh leave that 234 cap where it is and go find some people that aren't using these rooms and obviously the ones that aren't using it are the art center and we feel the reason why it's fair is because we're the ones that have lined up and paid the money pushed the process uh in the way that it's supposed to be outlined and you you, you know i know you're a fan of process we're following the process to a t we've paid the money and uh we're, we're trying to do it the right way and and I, I, I think I, that uh, I, I at the end of the day, you have to make the decision, though, as to what the right uh, change in that table is. It's either you give us some uh, growth or you reallocate rooms that aren't providing you any benefit. And I look forward to the time that we'll ha that we'll be able to look at that substantive information and make that decision. I think we need to get on with it. We need to get it done. So I agree with that. My concern is you've addressed quite a bit. Uh, about recent action on with the planning team with with respect to the town plan and the tables and the numbers so I guess I, my question my final question for you is well so why now I mean if we're this close to having that data come back to us and I'm in sync with what you're saying and and I think you've presented very very good reasons for you being uh, a reasonable <coughs> recipient of any additional rooms, either through taking them from the Arts Center or from uh, a way that the table would be adjusted overall. But I think it's this body's responsibility to clearly delineate to everybody out there, if there are new rooms available, here's why we decided that there are, and here's the process which, whereby you would, would obtain them. So, I mean, I think I can answer that question very candidly, and I think I addressed it last time I was in front of you. 
a big reason why we feel, other than the fact that we believe that there's enough trend data there to sh show you, and I, I guess Allison doesn't want to comment on that, but uh, the other reason is that there's two gentlemen that are sitting on this board today that have lived through this with us and the pain and the suffering of, of this process and have championed for us to get to where we are today, and uh, next time we come in front of you, they won't be here. And uh, that's a meaningful thing to us, uh, that those, those two individuals um, you know, have lived through this and have a history with us. And uh, yeah, um, you, know, you told us to come back in six months. It's been three years. And we've pushed this because these are the two gentlemen that have history with this project. And uh, you know, I'm hopeful that they'll support it today and, uh, and we can move on with life. But uh, th candidly, that's a big reason why, why we've pushed for this. Well, I appreciate your candor. I, I just have a, I have a, a difficulty feeling that finally the county got with it. I agree with you. It should have been done sooner for whatever reasons with staffing and resources. It wasn't. I concur with you. I think we should have jumped on it sooner. Limited resources are a lot of things we should have done a long time ago. But I do have a concern with, as Karen Calvert, I think, articulates very well in her letter, and I think if she felt differently, she would have voted another way, and that is this data has not either been refuted, and I think she, a pretty good choice of her words, refuted or validated by the county, and that's us, the decision makers. So I'm not, I'm not d disputing a number of your points. I'm not disagreeing even with, with uh, your project. I'm, I'm just feeling uh, that we need to make the decision first with respect to getting that data back finalizing it and it's a much cleaner clearer way to say to you yes or no and here's why so can I ask you a question do you know how Karen voted on the uh, on the matter in front of her I believe she said she uh, she's clarifying she says the only reason that I voted to recommend denial so that's okay. what she's recommended right. denial according to this right I, I haven't compared to the staff yeah, she she voted no but I thought it was very interesting that she followed around with that uh, a letter saying she's supportive of the project Right. She did it in a right. way that uh, I believe framed it. I saw the letter uh, in a way that said, hey, I had to vote no because I made a statement uh, and I'm making a statement with this letter to, to you five people on that board that you need to uh, get on with it and, and approve this project. Okay, thank I, you. I think you can read it two different ways. Thank you. Supervisor. Mr. Chairman, I uh, must say that I do not appreciate the rebuke issued to me, and I'll tell you why. Mr. Ayers presents a moderate, reasoned, pleasant style, personality. What I think aggravates me more than anything is I've sat up here more than I think anybody, except Supervisor Delbar, of course, and have listened to data presented to him, quite reasonable. His language is moderate, is appropriate, wonderful characteristics for an innkeeper. At the same time, I know, it's not my opinion, I know for a fact you have been engaging in illegal activities on a regular and steady basis as an innkeeper, and you have not been called on it. And the reason you have not been called on it is because the County of Mendocino is uncomfortable about calling you on it. And when I sit up here and say I am required by law 